All right, what's up everybody? Hope everyone is doing well. It's been a while since I posted anything on uh, social media, so uh, I wanted to get out. I've had some people reach out to me, especially for my birthday and all that, and I really do appreciate um, the birthday wishes and people ask like where I've been or whatever. Not a lot of people by any means, but some. So I figured I would make a video. Um, I, I did make a video <clears throat> on why I left Facebook and Instagram. I, I have like my own opinions towards them and I'll post that video in the comments. I'll put it on YouTube if anybody does care to watch it. But I thought I would kind of share where I'm at at this point or what's going on, uh, like what I've been doing since not being on social media. And like having that time away, it really started to change my perspective on things and my outlook, um, just being away from Facebook and all. And so I started to kind of turn inward a little bit and like, okay, you know, take some time to kind of discover myself and see what's going on and learn about myself. And, um, and I decided to kind of approach that through many levels. And I started studying like psychology, um, like Jordan Peterson, uh, Carl Jung, Nietzsche, stuff like that. And when you get into this stuff, you realize that like, holy hell, like I'm pretty fucked up, but the good news is everybody's fucked up. So, um, I think we tend to get overwhelmed on the stuff with Facebook and all that, where we get so wrapped up in the big problems of the world that we don't turn inward. It's like almost escape to not have to work on yourself. So, um, so then you realize like, well, I guess the good news is everybody else is messed up too. So, uh, I'm not alone, but then I'm also not special either. So, um, and that kind of is, is what I've discovered is like a, a world of opposites. And so, for example, like I'll talk about my, my training. I realize like, my training, my bodybuilding, something was missing there. And I started to look at like where I was out of balance in life. And then I realized for me that I don't look at balance in the same sense of the world that I think um, everybody else does, being like work-life balance and all that. In fact, I think most people's problems is they have too much free time on their hand. They're way too worried about uh, balance. For me, balance is about like what kind of energy I was cultivating and paying attention to. So when it comes to like training and all that, that's a very specific kind of energy um, that you're nurturing. It's, it tends to be aggressive, um, assertive, uh, very masculine energy. And there's a place for that because the world is very brutal and unforgiving and relentless. So there is a time to meet the world with that energy. But the, the world exists as opposites and you see this all over and I see it more and more every day as I kind of go down this journey. So the world is also beautiful and soft and poetic and funny and all these things too. So if you're only nurturing that aggressive energy like I was in my case, I'm missing out on a lot um, and I'm also not developing myself completely um, as a person, if that makes sense. So um, I started to try to get into some softer things and learning things and, and paying attention to being mindful to, to nurturing those energies as well. And what I found is, A, my training has actually gotten a lot more intense and better and more focused and I'm actually growing, actually eating less food than I had before. So there's something to that. I, I feel like I wasn't, I could be even a better bodybuilder by just trying to focus on other things um, and also giving my unconscious mind something to focus on other than just rage and anger and aggression and all that, that is very productive and useful in the gym. Um, so... Yeah, I looked at that and then I decided to start reading and, and digging internally um, about myself. And that's, you know, that can be interesting too. And that's, that's kind of overwhelming. And then you can go down some rabbit holes there that can get a little esoteric and out there. So I felt like to balance that, what I needed to do was to try to acquire some new skills and explore things that are like tangible and definitive. So, you know, trying to learn new things that I could instead of the things being like kind of conceptual as far as progress personally, that I can look at certain benchmarks and say, okay, I know I'm improving um, in these things. And that took an interesting turn for me too, because as I started to explore some of these things, I realized like I really sucked at some of this stuff, you know, like stuff that I'm not really comfortable with. I'll say like one thing is um, I've got a list of things that I want to accomplish, but the first one is that I decided to start learning Spanish. Uh, some I've always wanted done. I've always put it off. So I'm like, I'm just going to do it. And like, I was terrible at it, you know? Um, and I realized like, we just don't do things that we're not good at anymore. Like we have our careers and our lives and for me, like the gym and all that. And we get into our, our ruts and our comfort and we stop learning. And I, and I almost think that um, like we're, 
brought up taught that like learning is a, like a burden like we're in school and all that and it's something that you have to do to uh, pass a test or whatever but it's like as soon as that's done you put it all behind you and we stop learning so when i experience these frustrations and like okay well i'm going to push through this and, and keep getting better at it it kind of opened up different things to me where i realized like wow there's something else to that too because you know if i can push through this and learn this and then acquire this new skill. I mean, obviously there's the, it could be tangible that maybe I could you know, make more money or something like that. But more to the point, it's like, it opens up that curiosity to think like, well, what else could I accomplish? You know? So, so it's, it's really exciting. And so that's kind of like the journey I'm on. I kind of wanted to take a year period before I turn 40 and just really turn inward and see what I could accomplish. Um, and it's, it's been so like overwhelming and exciting and terrifying all this. Again, I just, I'm so convinced now that the, the world just does exist as opposites and you have to find kind of, you know, attuned to each if you, if you want to find balance. And what I found was unexpectedly that I, my outlook and my response to people in situations change. Like I just kind of noticed and I feel like when I start started turning inward and looking at myself and I was like, I'm kind of fucked up. I almost started extending more patience towards other people because if I'm fallible, then so are they again. So I developed that patience. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, the other thing that happens when you see people's kind of bullshit, your, your patience for that or my patience for that, um, really diminished very quickly. So it, that went both ways for me as well. So it's, it's very exciting and I don't really know exactly where this is going to go. Uh, I won't probably continue to share things on Facebook because that would be pretty hypocritical when I'm telling people to get the fuck off Facebook. Um, but I will share it on YouTube and I'll put um, a link to my other video in the comments. If you do care, if you do want to watch, if you want to comment, just please comment on the YouTube video because I won't respond. I just don't, I literally don't go on Facebook anymore because it's just not, uh, a productive place for me to be. Um, and a lot of exciting things have happened. I won't even be posting any uh, fitness or physique updates um, until next year when me and Kira are ready to compete because I also want to kind of keep that for us and for ourselves and actually reveal something next year that is very special um, for us and that we feel very proud of. And I think it really will be something you know, by our standards or for us, it's, it's really pretty spectacular. So I'm really excited about that. So that's it. I don't really know where this is all going to go. It's kind of exciting for me and terrifying. So if you do follow along, but I do hope everybody is well and thank you for listening.